It is my great honor to be speaking tonight at the nation's most distinguished super spreader event. Welcome to the country's biggest annual celebration of the First Amendment of journalism, scholarship, and self-effacing humor. We are grateful for the vaccines, the therapies, the tests that make it possible for us to be here together tonight. Thank you, Steve, for that introduction. And a special thanks to the 42 percent of you actually applauded. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here tonight with the only group of Americans with a lower approval rating than I have. <laughs> the very first president to attend the White House Correspondence Center was Calvin Coolidge in 1924. I'd just been elected to the United States Senate. <laughs> I, know there, I know there are questions about whether we should gather here tonight because of COVID. Well, we're here to show the country that we're getting through this pandemic. Plus, everyone had to prove they were fully vaccinated and boosted. So if you're at home watching this and you're wondering how to do that, just contact your favorite Fox News reporter. They're all here, vaccinated and boosted, all of them. I'm not really here to roast the GOP. That's not my style. Besides, there's nothing I can say about the GOP that Kevin McCarthy hasn't already put on tape. We've all seen the courage of the Ukrainian people because of the courage of American reporters in this room and your colleagues across the world who are on the ground taking their lives in their own hands. Trevor, the really good news is now you get to roast the president of the United States. And unlike in Moscow, you won't go to jail. No, for real, people, what are we doing here? Let's be honest, what are we doing? Like, did none of you learn anything from the gridiron dinner? Nothing, huh? Like, do you read any of your own newspapers? I mean, I expect this from Sean Hannity, but the rest of you, what are you doing here? You guys spent the last two years telling everyone the importance of wearing masks and avoiding large indoor gatherings. Then the second someone offers you a free dinner, you all turn into Joe Rogan, huh? I mean, Dr. Fauci dropped out. That should have been a pretty big sign. <laughs> Fauci thought it was too dangerous to come tonight. Pete Davidson thinks it's okay. <laughs> Let's give it up for the White House press pool. Let's give it up for them, please. You guys, you guys are relentless. Every day you show up and every day you demand answers on the pressing issues of the day. And then Fox News asks about Hunter Biden. And I'll be honest, though, I actually think that's a good thing. I really do. I think people need to be held accountable if they're using their dad's name to get ahead in life. And I can't think of anyone better to ask about that than Peter Ducey.